I'm Lucy Fink and this is 5 Days of Hydration. In some of my past episodes, I've cut out things like coffee and alcohol because they can be very dehydrating. So this week, I wanted to look at that experiment from the flip side and see what extreme hydration can do for my body. I'm not one of those people who drinks water consistently. I truly only drink it when I'm thirsty. So I'm certainly not getting in the recommended eight eight ounce glasses per day. So knowing that, I need a twist. I need something to get me excited and inspired to hydrate. So last night, I made tons of fruit and vegetable infused waters, popped them in the fridge. I'm gonna drink those throughout the day today. Not only will they provide me with vitamins and minerals, but I'm hoping that drinking water that has a little fruity flavor will be a little bit more exciting than plain water. It's Monday night and it is hydration station over here. I'm used to drinking only a couple of glasses of water a day and today I got 64 ounces in. So if I'm being truthful about where I spent a large majority of the day, the answer is the bathroom. <laughs> Clear pee is good pee, right? Today I wanted to dive a little bit deeper and of course continue to drink all the water I need to, but see if there are other ways to stay hydrated. As it turns out, there are tons of snacks and meals that are more than 50% water-based. So earlier this morning I went to the market and I got cucumbers, celery, radishes, and green peppers. So I took my water-based vegetables and I made a vegetable crudite to jazz up snack time. So much better than a sodium-filled bag of chips. So what I learned today is that apparently, you can eat your water. They say that water is a miracle drink. It increases your metabolism, it's good for your skin, it can help prevent arthritis. So long term, seems like if I can keep this up, I'm golden and I'm living forever. <laughs> Short term, can't complain, I'm feeling good. Okay, I take that back, I have one complaint. The only negative of this whole thing is that I have to pee a lot at night. I didn't get my 64 ounces in yesterday during the day, so just before bed I started chugging so that I could make sure to hit my goal, and I'm sure you can guess what the result of that was. So I needed a better plan. I needed to make sure that I wasn't only getting the amount of hydration that I needed, but that I was getting it at the proper time throughout the day. Using my reminders app and the alarms on my phone, I set alarms to keep myself hydrated. I drank some fruit infused water, some regular water, some sparkling water, some coconut water. At even intervals throughout the day, I had just the right amount that I needed. And there's my alarm going off to tell me that it's time for an herbal tea. I'm kind of doing great. <laughs> the schedule helped with the bathroom problem. I'm hydrated, I slept better last night, but I'm not sure that this new routine of mine is entirely sustainable. I need to know what are the key takeaways I need to implement 64 ounces of water into my diet after this week is over. After a bit of research, I found that a glass of warm water with fresh lemon is the best way to start the day. And that is certainly something that I can implement every morning moving forward. I also found that smoothies are a great way to get the water I need, in addition to including fruits and veggies, which are really high in water, but also nutrients and more. So if I make one of those in the morning, that's two of my eight before I even leave the house. Something that's not news to me is that I am addicted to coffee. You guys all saw in my five days of no coffee episode, I have a true caffeine addiction. So I'm still gonna have my morning coffee, but I could replace my afternoon coffee with a coconut water. And truthfully, this shouldn't be a problem because if I'm really staying hydrated, that should increase my natural energy anyway. So maybe I won't even need the caffeine. And plus, coconut water is just straight up delicious and makes me feel like I'm floating on a raft. And those coconut waters that come in a pack are sometimes 16 ounces. So that's two more and it's just lunchtime. That way if I have a few cups of water in the afternoon and an herbal tea before I go to bed, I've hit eight. I made it. That's eight. You see them? I am so hydrated right now. Beer B got a pee. When I envisioned myself embarking on this journey this week, I imagined myself sitting at my desk drinking plain, bland water. But I found so many ways to incorporate 64 ounces into my diet in a more attainable and exciting way. So, where do I go from here? Well, yesterday was the day that I realized I might not be able to get 64 ounces in every day, and that's okay. The good news is now that hydration is top of mind for me, and I'm actually taking active steps towards becoming a more hydrated person. But I'm always open for more suggestions, so please let me know if you have any more ideas for how I can keep hydrated. And as always, comment below letting me know what you think I should try next week. Hey guys, it's Lucy Fink. Click here to watch me try five days of learning Espanol. Click here to subscribe to Refinery29 on YouTube. 
and click here to see more.